Hello, comrades. This is Peek Up and Drop Off. You just saw my hand moving across like this. Today, what we have is a 2004 iPod. Um, I picked up for $15, no tax. 20 gigabyte, but as you can see, it's 14 years old and uh, it does not turn on. So what I'm going to do is use some spongers to crack open the case, determine what battery it is, and proceed to order a new battery. Let's get started. These are the spongers that I use uh, from, I got from uh, Fry's Electronics. You can get these from Fixit or iFixit.com. I think that's what it is called. I got a metal one as well. Let's see if I can get it in the toolbox. Yep, got the metal one as well. So the persuader, we'll say. So what I start to do is uh, move that stuff out of the way. <laughs> these things are a little torn up. Look at that little torn up there. Start, no, that's not going to work. That one's all torn up. I need some new spongers. So what you're trying to do is this is a polycarbonate white top and a, what's it called? A stainless steel base. I'm just going to start on one of the edges. Work, try to work my way in. I know there's just probably a better way to do this, but uh, and probably a faster way for other people, but I don't do this too often on the third uh, generation. I have a penchant for uh, the monochrome iPods. Let's see if I can do it with this one, the little pressure waiter. So I'm just scratching the polycarbonate, as you see. Great. Peekoff, what are you doing? Let's see. I guess what I could do, rather than that, is just try to go under and lift up. Because the polycarbonate is the one that's grabbing the metal and dinging the thing all up. This is not a how-to. This is just showing you. Look at that. I just dinged it up again. Darn it. Yeah. Rubbing it's not going to do anything. Let's try something else. All right. I'm going to post this anyway, regardless of what happens. Something tells me I'll end up needing a Band-Aid after this. Well, this hasn't been opened in 15 years, so oh, I, got, I got a little bit in there. See? I got a little bit in, so I'm going to go ahead and go around and see if I can get this thing open. Got to be real delicate. You don't want to break anything. As soon as I say break, something snaps. Good. So I'm going to use one of the blue ones to get in there. Eh, probably backwards. But... Oh, I got the side open there. Good. Look at that. I'll use the persuader again. Okay, here she comes. I've done this. I have another iPod like this, a third generation that I was given to me new in 2004 and I've replaced that battery three times before it finally died and wouldn't accept the fourth battery so when well, I kept the original box and had a little funeral for it but I kept it I didn't bury it in the backyard I still have it in fact oh, here she comes all right if this is your first time seeing this it is mine too again this hasn't been opened in 14 years so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it over and see if the rear it is connected. Okay, so we've got uh, a ribbon cable here that's connecting the base of the unit, well, the top of the unit to the base of the unit for the controls for the headphone jack and uh, for the on-off switch. So I, there's, I could move this this way and go up. I think you can watch me. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead very simple, very easily, gently, I'm trying to say, is I'm going to move this ribbon cable out so I can separate the two halves there. There we go. I'll put this aside. There's some writing in there, probably just a parts number when they made it. Nice and clean on the inside. Try not to damage the top too much. So here's your 20 gigabyte hard drive right here. And uh, covered in this little bumper. I'm going to lift this up. Okay, very good. So I see the part number, replacement number for the iPod. It says it's fourth. So it might be fourth generation. Still made in 2002. So it's right there. Replacement for iPod fourth. So. That's interesting. It may have been cracked open before. If this is a replacement for the iPod 4, if someone already had changed the uh, battery before, maybe they changed it and it didn't work. Maybe something else is wrong with it. I don't see any obvious um, water damage or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is try to pry this battery up off of its casing. And it's put on with just a little bit of glue. It doesn't look like it's, well, it does look like it's um, bloated. That's kind of weird. 
So I got the part number, and if anything, what I'm going to go ahead and just peel this up. I think I'll go ahead and uh, use my persuader again. I'll lift that up a little bit. Come on, baby. Come on. Grab all of them. Watch me pull all the um, cables out. Darn it. All right. This is the, the parts where you need three hands. So the sticker there looks like someone took off, but yeah, you know what? I'm going to say someone tried to. It's, this is a replacement battery and it's bloated. The battery is obviously bad, so I'll go ahead and keep that like that. And I see one of the tabs there is broken. That holds the uh, silver. Uh, the chrome. Oh, darn it! I just broke it off. Crap. Oh well. And there goes my my phone communicator style. I can see it coming up just a little bit. I don't think the whole thing comes off. It, if it does, I'm screwed. But again, I paid 15 bucks for it. And I got a hard drive out of it, so. And there goes my text texting again. Jeez, someone's really trying to get a hold of me. Hmm. Delicate parts. You know, I should probably just wait on doing this, but. Nah. Maybe someone tore that up and tore the base off and the battery doesn't work. I'm thinking the worst case scenario right now. If I can look at that. I've got a... It does feel kind of loose. It's possible that somebody changed this before and actually broke off the, the base of uh, where the battery goes in. But would that really explain why the battery's bloated instead of being flat? Are they all supposed to be bloated like that? I know sometimes that happens with the MacBooks. They get bloated and you got to change the battery. If it happens, sometimes it pushes your keyboard all up and looks funky. I can't get it off. Let's take a look at this end of it. it. should just come right off, but what I'm trying not to do is pull the base off with it. Maybe I can put some leverage on this to keep this down, and then use my fingernails to pry it off. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. So there's the batteries on the side. This thing... I guess it was just coming up. Oh, I see it. Why? Look at that. I see why. I'll show you in just a second. I don't have the right tools, but uh, nope. Nope. Why is it that every time you go for a screwdriver, it's always uh, the wrong size? And that looks like it's a micro Torx anyway. <sighs> looks like a, like a T5 or a T4. It's loose. You can probably see it. See it? Probably show you the. You can't, you can't see that. That's why it was coming up on me, because this screw is loose. I don't, I don't see why the prior owner would... That's just Foxconn stuff. That's just poor, our poor build. So I'll fix that later. Hmm. But that's it. That's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and leave this apart. I guess going to search on the, the good old Amazon for a replacement battery. I have three of these units that need to be replaced. Ugh. Really? Jeez. Let's see who's bugging me. Trying to get hold of me. All right. Um, it has a part number on it. it. has a replacement, so I'm just going ahead and put this on Amazon, see if I can get a replacement battery. They're not too expensive, but probably get them for $5 shipped with Amazon Prime. Um, okay. And I can put this back together. I need to get a Torx and, and tighten that down. Probably tighten all the screws down, and it should be good to go. I'm not going to touch the hard drive because it really doesn't need to be messed with too much. So what I'll do to preserve this is um, go ahead and put it back as delicately as I can and just kind of soft fit the bottom on it. And then that will be it for now. Um, I'll put this safe where I don't have to mess with it. This actually goes, no, it goes this way, right? Wait a minute, now it goes this way. Look at that, I'm, I'm already screwing it up by crunching the tab down that goes on to the, um, connects the back or connects the top to the logic board, screwing it up. So I'm not gonna, I'm just doing this on film. I think when I put it back together, I'm, just, I'm not going to film it. But there you go. That's how to get into your, I guess it says fourth generation. I know the third generation has a different wheel, but it was made in 2004, and some of the third generations were made in 2004. Uh, so it's possible that it's in early 2004. Um, that's it for now.